Hey guys, welcome back to What Would Dare You Wear. I promised you guys a haul, and that's what I'm gonna give you. So I'm gonna start out with clothing, then move on to accessories and shoes. So you guys stay tuned. So I'm definitely one of those people who shops year round. Um, I'm always shopping, like every single day on my lunch break, either I'm shopping for a client or I'm shopping for myself, making sure that I'm good to go when the new season starts. Um, so I'm always ahead of time as far as like accumulating clothing, shoes and things like that. And anytime I see a sale, I hop on it. So um, the first item that I most recently got was this Guilty Gucci inspired t-shirt. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I don't know, it took me a minute to figure out if I really wanted it, but I think it'll be cute paired with like a blazer and some like cut off shorts and like some heels or something really cute but i got this off of amazon and it was only 10.99 look i am a frugal shopper so yes this is my first item my second item um you guys probably remember me wearing this um in the yellow version but it's like a wrap sweater that i got off of zaffle um, so basically I would just tie this, the wrap part and then wear it off the shoulders. Um, but I have this in yellow, this nude color and army green. And I think I'm gonna go back and get the black because I really like it. And this can go for really fall, winter and spring, depending on where you at. You know, if you're in California, you can do whatever you want. But, um... Yeah, I really like this sweater a lot. That's why I got it in all different colors. Um, the next item that I have is this really cute dress that I got from Zara. It's an oversized t-shirt that says today's outfit, an oversized t-shirt and sneakers. So it's really long and oversized. Um, I got it in a size small, it was only 25 bucks. And I can't wait to wear it with some sneakers, of course. Um, I want to wait until it's actually a warm day. But it has like, you know, a little opening on the sides, a little slit on the sides. And then it's, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's really, I loved it and I had to have it. And since I have so many Zara stores near me, I could, I didn't have an issue finding my size. So that is my third item. Oh, also with this sweater it was only ten dollars um i got it on sale because i bought more than one they ended up coming to like 10 or 11 bucks so really not bad for the price um and the quality is pretty good i this is only my first time ordering off of zaffle so not bad um i'll provide the links for everything that i can um in the description so my fourth item is this really cute crop top from Misguided. It really gives me like, damn, what is the name of that show? Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown feels, okay? So cute on, I'm telling you, I didn't think it was gonna be as crop, but when I put it on, it comes like right above my boobs. So probably just about the same as this crop top, but it's so cute and I only paid 17 or 18 dollars for this it was normally like 35 or something like that but they were having a sale on misguided might be too bright but it's yellow and black it's really cute can't wait to wear this with some oversized distressed denim jeans yeah not too bad um rule of thumb for how i shop i try and get items that are under like $25 under 30 I just I hate spending over 30 bucks for something especially because I rotate stuff really quickly throughout my wardrobe I'm not or if I really like something I'm wearing it over and over and then I have tons of stuff with just tags and they kind of just sit around until I have an event or I feel like sharing that outfit or that look with the world so I try and keep my prices real low as long as I can um so my next piece is this Mo Money, Mo Problems tee from Forever 21. Um, this actually was on like 
like a display that they had. And usually Forever 21 is very, very funny about taking anything down that's on a mannequin or on a display. But somehow I, I was able to get with a manager who didn't care. Um, and she was like, oh, I'll get, get somebody to get it down for you. So yeah, this top um, was only $19.90. Um, and it's an extra large, which is fine because I was gonna, I wanted it to be oversized somewhat. And I plan on wearing these with um, some cutoff shorts too, once it really starts getting warm here in California. Um, and I'll actually, th I'm thinking about piecing it with this next item that I got from Forever 21 as well. But again, um, this is Forever 21. I got it for 20 bucks, not bad, especially because I'm pretty sure they were selling these type of tees when Biggie was alive at his concerts and stuff like that. So um, I'm excited to uh, actually wear this piece. My next piece is this really cute blazer. It's very plain, um, pinstripe, black and white. I got it for, hmm, I think it was like eight bucks because I love Forever 21 sale, especially when it's an extra 50% off or, ugh, look, I've, I've, I've even caught the 60% off. But when I tell you, I went in, I went in. But neither here nor there, this was like eight bucks. It was half price. Um, I got it in a, in a medium. It's still, it's already an oversized fit, like a boyfriend fit. Um, but I just liked how a little, it was a little tighter on my arm. So I got the medium instead of the large. Um, probably gonna do this with some cutoff shorts and maybe with that um, Mo Money Mo Problems tee. But I'm gonna maneuver this a couple times throughout my wardrobe. Um, definitely wanna make sure I'm maximizing all the items that I have because I know sometimes I'm a splurger or a, what is it? One of those people that just buys things like just, oh, I want it, let me just get it. I'm trying to get out of that. I'm really trying to make sure if I'm, I'll walk around the store for a couple times to make sure that what I'm buying is what I actually need or that I can maneuver it different ways. Um, uh, Cause I definitely don't want to be wasting money. And then it's just sitting in my closet with tags for years. And then I'm like, oh, it's time to purge. And then I have to get rid of it then. So I want to make sure I'm wearing everything that I have in my closet. Um, my next piece is also from Zara. It's called, um, it says official winner of best dress. And, you know, I have to toot my own horn because I feel like I can dress. I know I can dress and um, style is my thing. Like, I don't know, I really like the tee. And it was only eight, no, it was 990. So it was only 990. You can't go wrong with a $10 t-shirt, okay? Cause I feel like I have a lack of t-shirts in my wardrobe. I don't know if you guys are the same, but um, I, anytime I see a t-shirt and it's really cheap and it's, it's a graphic tee or a, a slogan tee as they're calling them now, I'll just grab it. Um, just so those days when I don't feel like really putting too much effort into my look, throw on a t-shirt and I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, this is from Zara. I'll provide the link for it as well. 990. Yeah. Um, what size did I get in this tee? It's a size small. And if you kind of want to gauge if you, what size you can wear most of, I'm a 34 double D as far as my bust. Um, for the most part, I range as far as the size of shirts that I wear. Small, medium, large. It depends, like, on the fit. If it's oversized, then I'm probably going to get a small. If it's, like, a t-shirt and you kind of want it to be form-fitting, then I'll get a medium. Um, I actually purchased a size large tee because it didn't have any stretch from Zara. And I don't like how it looks on me. So I was, well, maybe I'll just, I'll just show you guys what it was. But... This is another tee and it's a size large. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I might go back and get the medium. Um, but it says style is never wrong. Use only under stylist supervision. You know, it just worked. <laughs> and I love that it brought up, you know, stylists. So um, yeah, I'll probably go back and get a, a medium in this cause I didn't like the way it fit. Um, so on to some bottoms. I got these cutoff shorts from the Urban Outfitter Surplus store. Now, 
I hate to say it guys, but this store is not anywhere else. They only have it here in California. I'm sorry. But it's my absolute favorite store because it's only sell items. All the sell items that maybe didn't sell at the Urban Outfitters store, um, they'll send it here. And then even when the corporate or the regular Urban Outfitters stores are having sales, that store has a sale too. So when there's like 40% off a sale, it's 40% off these items. So I absolutely love it. I go there pretty often, maybe once or twice a month. Um, or if I'm just like, oh dear, I think you can find something really cool, you need to go then I'll go, um, and I never have spent over 30 bucks on like one piece for the most part. Um, these cutoff shorts were $10, and I had like a $5 off coupon, so they ended up being five. Um, I'm, you're gonna see these a lot. You're gonna see these a lot on me this spring and summer, because <laughs> they're comfortable and they fit really good. Um, these are just some like, Levi's I think they're Levi's yeah yeah they are Levi's and I think they're like they don't even put like this number of the, the number size for the Levi's they put like large extra large whatever tried them on they fit I bought them couldn't leave them in the store um so yeah you'll see these a lot um really random purchase they were only eight dollars some checkered leggings and what I'm gonna do with these checkered leggings is cut them into some biker shorts. Um, because I don't, I don't, at one point in my life, leggings were life. That's all I used to wear, black leggings. People knew me because I wore leggings, that's it. But now, um, I don't know. I, I don't think I wanna have them as just regular length leggings. Some biker shorts would be better fitted for, or better suited for my wardrobe right now. Um, so that's what I'll probably do. I'll provide the link for these again, eight ninety, and maybe I'll grab some some different bands, or I could wear them with my platform bands. So whatever, you'll probably see these maybe once or twice. Um. Oh yeah, before I move on to the bottoms, I told my followers on Insta Snap that I will be tube top a tube top killer. So. <laughs> I've already started my tube top collection, which I have some already that are just plain. But I bought this one from Forever 21. And it says Nowhere USA, just really plain, nothing, nothing, you know, extravagant. Um, it's $7.90 and it's from Forever 21, a size medium. And tube tops, even though my boobs are fairly big, I try and get tube tops a size smaller only because. They're hanging. If you, I mean, I, I'll, I'll wear a tube top like bra underneath, but it's like if you get a large, it might be like hanging off a little bit. But medium is gonna hug me the right way. So I'll get mediums in tube tops, just so you know. So that's one. And then I have another tube top that I purchased. It was seven dollars. Um, checker, another little random, random purchase that I'll try and maneuver on those days that I don't feel like putting much effort into my look. Um, so you'll probably see this as well. All right, back to the to the bottoms. This really cute jumpsuit from Forever 21. I was excited when I saw this. I saw it in the store first, um, tried it on. I always usually go for medium and large as far as when I'm grabbing bottoms because I just never know, depending on the fit or the style of the bottom. Um, the medium, a little too tight in the hip area for me. I'm usually, I'm an 8'10". It just depends. Um, but I just had to have this. I tried on the large in the store. Accidentally ripped the damn strap off of it. Or like the seam. I don't know. Either way, I was like, here you go. It didn't work out. So when I got home, I was like, I still want this jumpsuit. I'm just going to have to order it online. And I picked it up in store. So... I don't know if you guys have known this, but for the last year or so, Forever 21 has an option where you can order things online and have them shipped to your the closest store to you. Whatever store that's close to you that actually you know uses that feature. Um, so And then you don't have to pay for shipping. It's free shipping. It goes straight to the store and they'll email you once it's there. It does take a, 
a little longer, um, but not too much. I mean, you really wouldn't, you couldn't tell. It's just normal shipping times, I think. Um, but yes, this really, really cute jumpsuit. I don't know if this video will do it any justice, but it's a wide leg jumpsuit and it crisscrosses in the back. And it's really low. So I am excited about maneuvering this this spring and summer. Um, you probably can't dry this because it'll shrink. And nobody wants to have pants turn into some, to some, some capris. I mean, I, I just, I hate when that happens. So I have to be really, really cognizant of my clothes because I'll just wash dry, move on, and then be pissed off when it's time to wear it again. So really cute jumpsuit. Um, it's a large, like I said, and it was 30 bucks. I used the coupon that they they gave me, where it gave me 20% off, so I only paid like 23 for it. But look how wide the legs are. I, I love, 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 wide leg pants. I love it. I don't know, I think it's because my hips are really wide, and so it just makes me look really, really groovy. So, um, can't wait to wear that. You, you will see it a few times, so don't be surprised. Um, two more pieces of clothing. All right, so I know <laughs> folks weren't fooling with H&M, but um, I'm, I'm a stylist, so I, I, I just gotta, gotta maneuver how I do. But anyways, I got these really cute um, faux leather navy pants from H&M. Um, seven bucks. Oh no, my ankle. Got them for seven dollars. Um, I remember when they first came out. I knew they were really cheap, thirty-four dollars, but I didn't want to pay thirty-four. Got them in a size ten. Waited a while for some people. For some reason, I think the reason why people didn't buy these up really quickly is because um the bottom is not like skinny. It's a little wide. Um, but after trying on four or five different sizes because they fit really weird, um, I ended up getting a size 10 and calling it a day. Um, praying that I may lose a little weight now that I'm training. Um, but really cute. I'm not a huge fan of Navy, but I bought these in Navy. So somehow I'm going to, I'm going to have to wear these with some, some type of cute slogan or graphic tee or a bodysuit or something but really cute pants seven bucks can't be seven dollar pants um and then another pair of pants that i got from h&m was another pair of wide leg pants but they're just i don't even know what this is i don't know what kind of bird this is on this pair of pants but they actually kind of remind me of pajama pants um you know that whole trend still going on so Really cute. I'll probably wear them like more of a high waist pant because they're, they'd be pretty long if not. Um, I'm about 5'3". So yeah, high waist pants usually fit around the right length. I may have to like hem, get them hemmed or just wear like a heel or something, but really cute, 17 bucks. I probably could have waited till they got marked down a little more, but Sometimes you just have to go ahead and purchase the stuff because if not, you'll be mad if that they're gone and you didn't get them. So, and I can always return them if I choose that I'm not going to wear them or whatever. But yeah, so that's it for clothing. Moving on to shoes and accessories. Um, just got this bag from the Urban Outfitter Surplus Store. Really cute, structured, boxed bag um i only paid five dollars for it but it was 9.99 um i had a coupon a five dollar off coupon so yes metallic silver bag really cute i just gotta pop open the little button and then it's it's really not much room in there but enough room to have your, your cards your lip gloss mascara whatever else that's important to you 
very tight room, tight space, but enough to have your important stuff in there just real quick for a night out. I wore it yesterday, actually, and it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, got this bag recently from the Urban Officer Surplus Store. And then, um, all right, I got this really cute bag from soniquesaturday.com. Um, love it. You fake like this Birkin bag. Um, I got the mini. This is the mini Birkin bag because I have enough big bags that I really didn't, I really didn't need to get anything that was, that was a little bit bigger than this. Um, it's really cute. It's been my everyday bag for the last two weeks. Um, how much did I pay for this? I think I paid one. Yeah, I paid a hundred dollars for this bag. I know for my followers it might be a little pricey, but for me, if I really like something and I may not be able to catch the sale when Sonique does a sale, then I knew I was like, just get the bag. You like it, you're gonna wear it. It's not it's it's a it's a timeless piece. It's not like I'll be getting rid of this at all because I know this is something that, and the quality of the bag is another thing because we know it's not a Birkin, but it's the Birkin that I'll be carrying, my little fake Birkin, and the quality of it is so good. It just, it feels, to me, it feels like vegan leather. I don't know if it's vegan leather, but it feels like it, and um, I definitely think it's, it's worth the cost of it. Um, so yeah, I'll provide the link for this bag and she has different colors. She has tons of other bags that are really, really cute. Definitely a must. You need to check out her website, soniksaturday.com. Um, and so, yeah, that's the most recent bag that I purchased in addition to the silver one. And moving on to footwear. I absolutely loved my, what are they, styrofoam or some Birkenstocks that I got from... Nordstrom. I got them in orange and I got them in what other color did I get? Green. Army green. I have an orange pair, a bright orange pair and an army green pair. You probably have seen me wear them before. But guess who came through in the clutch and said, you don't have to pay $35 anymore, Daria? What? Target, our favorite place, came through with another, the same version. They're just not Birkin stock. So really cute, $12.99, can you believe it? $12, and I got these in this white colored pair. Um, what other color? I got black. They did have like a teal color. Um, go get them while they're, while they're there because I know folks are gonna buy. These are perfect for the beach, perfect for like just walking around the house. I mean, I'll wear them outside of the house, but I'm just telling you, where they're perfect to be to, to be worn. Um, I got them in a size nine, just so I had some space. I probably could have done like an eight and a half, but a nine just for me to be comfortable. And then of course you can adjust the straps to make them tighter or whatnot. So that's that. They have black, they have teal, and they have white. Definitely had wanted a white pair of the Birkenstocks that came out, but didn't want to pay 35 for them because I don't know how dirty these are gonna get as I wear them throughout the next two seasons. Um, so yes, putting y'all on, make sure you go get them. I'll provide the link as well for those too. Um, favorite sandals right now that I just purchased like two weeks ago and I told you guys about them. I provided the link on my Insta Snap, but I'll mention them again for those who don't watch Insta, Insta Snap. Um, Target, again, you can't go wrong. Really cute sandals. Dolce Vita, they were... Were these 25? I think these were like 25 or $29. Um, they have a blue, black and white version, and these are the yellow, black and white version. Really cute. Look at the sides. And um, you can adjust the strap to make it tighter if you want to. Really cute. Um, dang, okay, that's it. That's all I had. I, I thought I had a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so that is my haul. My Zara, my Target, my Forever, my my H and M haul. Um, I shop just about anywhere. Look, I do not discriminate, but I just wanted to share my um, my finds for the last like month and a half 
before it just gets way too out of control and I can't do it all in one video. But I'm so happy you guys tuned in to What Would Daria Wear? And just stay tuned for a new video.